Today, Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry unveiled his $1.8 billion budget that touches on a variety of topics from police reform to patching potholes and also increases new spending by tens of millions. Sharon, you joins us now with a breakdown. Sharon? Well, Julie, the budget covered a variety of areas needing investment, including infrastructure and bettering of systems to help folks who are experiencing homelessness to fighting climate change. But the biggest elephant in the room donning the biggest dollar signs was the federal consent decree following the murder of George Floyd. At Mayor Jacob Fry's 2024 budget address, it was about celebrating the wins and facing reality. In terms of housing, we included a promise last year to maintain historic level, levels of funding in our affordable housing trust fund for a total of $18 million in 2024 to keep up production and leverage the massive state housing resources that will be coming available this year. The mayor also took pride in keeping the levy promise. He anticipated an increase of 6.2% and that's what the residents will get. Not only does this budget keep promises, it lays out generational investments in the city we love. It lays out a plan for the future. As for the near future of confronting the federal consent decree, Fry announced massive funding for public safety in 2024 and beyond. An investment of approximately $16 million in 2024 and nearly $11 million in 2025 and beyond. This will be a combination of ongoing and one-time funding and will go toward the implementation of this agreement, meaning the daily work of compliance. Part of that money will go towards upgrading data systems as well as hiring new staff in MPD, civil rights and the city attorney's office. This also includes 28 civilian positions within the police department for jobs that don't require sworn officers. Investments to meet a soon to come federal consent decree are not optional. The budget will now go to the Budget Committee for a review before facing three public hearings. Then it will be up for a final vote in December. Julie.